Good evening and welcome to Evening Prayer on this Thursday, the 27th of January. As we come together, let us pray for the day that has been. Let's ask that God be with us and let us pray. <clears throat> o God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. From the rising of the sun to its setting, your glory is proclaimed in all the world. Blessed are you, sovereign God, our light and our salvation, to be glory and praise for ever. You gave your Christ as a light to the nations, and through the anointing of the Spirit, you established us as a royal priesthood. As you call us into your marvellous light, may our lives bear witness to your truth, and our lips never cease to proclaim your praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God for ever. O oh, worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness, bow down before him, his glory proclaim. With gold of obedience and incense of lowliness, kneel and adore him, the Lord is his name. Lo, at his feet lay thy burden of carefulness, high on his heart he will bear it for thee. Comfort thy sorrows and answer thy prayerfulness, guiding thy steps as may best for thee be. Fear not to enter his court in the slenderness of the poor wealth thou would reckon as thine. Truth in its beauty and love in its tenderness, these are the offerings to lay on his shrine. These, though we bring them in trembling and fearfulness, he will accept for the name that is dear. Mornings of joy give for evenings of tearfulness, trust for our trembling and hope for our fears. O oh, worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness, bow down before him his glory proclaim. With gold of obedience and incense of lowliness, kneel and adore him, the Lord is his name. That this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful. Let us pray of one heart and mind. As our evening prayer rises before you, O God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise, now and forever. Amen. Our first psalm for this evening is Psalm 24. The Lord of hosts, he is the King of glory. The Lord is the earth and all that fills it the compass of the world and all who dwell therein. For he has founded upon the seas and set it firm upon the rivers of the deep. Who shall ascend the hill of the Lord? Or who can rise up to his holy place? Those who have clean hands and a pure heart, who have not lifted up their soul to an idol, nor sworn an oath to a lie, they shall receive a blessing from the Lord, a just reward from the God of their salvation. Such is the company of those who seek him, of those who seek your face, O God of Jacob. Lift up your heads, O gates, be lifted up your everlasting door, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord who is mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O gates, be lifted up your everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts, he is the King of glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. The Lord of hosts, he is the King of glory. Our second psalm for the evening is Psalm 33. The earth is full of the loving kindness of the Lord. Rejoice in the Lord, O you righteous, for it is good for the just to sing praises. Praise the Lord with the lyre. On the ten-string harp sing his praise. Sing for him a new song. Play skillfully with shouts of praise. For the word of the Lord is true and all his words are works are sure. He loved righteousness and justice. The earth is full of the loving kindness of the Lord. But the word of the Lord were the heavens made, and all the hosts by their breath of his mouth. He gathered up the waters of the sea as in a water skin, and lay out the deep in his treasury. Let all the earth fear the Lord. Stand in awe of him all who dwell in, earth, in the world. For he spoke and it was done. He commanded, and it stood fast. The Lord brings the counsel of the nations to naught. He frustrates the designs of the peoples. But the counsel of the Lord shall endure for ever, and the designs of his heart from generation to generation. Happy the nations whose God is the Lord, 
and the people he has chosen for his own. The Lord looks down from heaven and beholds all the children of earth. From where he sits in thrones, he turns his gaze on all who dwell on the earth. He fashions all the hearts of them and understands all their works. No king is saved by the might of his host, no warrior delivered by his great strength. A horse is a vain hope for deliverance, for all its strength it cannot save. Behold, the eye of the Lord is upon those who fear him, on those who wait and hope for his steadfast love, to deliver their soul from death and to feed them in time of famine. Our soul waits longingly for the Lord. He is our help and our shield. Indeed, our heart rejoices in him. In his holy name have we put our trust. Let your loving kindness, O Lord, be upon us, as we have set our hope on you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The earth is full of the loving kindness of the Lord. Our Old Testament reading is a continuation of the book of the prophet Hosea, chapter 5, verse 8, through to chapter 6, verse 6. Blow the, the horn in Gilbath, the trumpet, the trumpet in Ramah. Sound the alarm in Beth Avon. Look behind you, Benjamin. Ephraim shall become a desolation on the day of punishment among the tribes of Israel. I declare what is sure. The princes of Judah have become like those who remove the landmark. On them I will pour out my wrath like water. Ephraim is oppressed and trushed in judgment because he was determined to go after vanity. Therefore I am like maggots in Ephraim and like rottenness in the house of Judah. When Ephraim saw his sickness and Judah his wound, then Ephraim went to Assyria and sent to the great king. But he is not able to cure you or heal your wound. For I will be like a lion in Ephraim and like a young lion in the house of Judah. I myself will tear and go away. I will carry off and no one shall, uh, shall rescue. I will return again to my place until they acknowledge their guilt and seek my face. In their distress they will beg my favour. Come, let us return to the Lord. For it is he who has torn us and he will heal us. He has struck down and he will bind us up. After two days he will revive us. On the third day he will raise us up, that we may live before him. Let us know, let us press on to know the Lord. His appearing is as sure as the dawn. He will come to us like the showers, like the spring's rains that water the earth. What shall I do with you, O Ephraim? What shall I do with you, O Judah? Your love is like a morning cloud, like the dew that goes away early. Therefore I have hewn them by the prophets, I have killed them by the words of my mouth, and my judgments go forth as the light. For my desire steadfast love and not sacrifice, the knowledge of God rather than burnt offerings. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. You created all things, O God, and are worthy of our praise for ever. You are worthy of our praise, O Lord and God, to receive glory and honour and power. For you have created all things, and by your will they have their being. You are worthy, O Lab, for you were slain, and by your blood you ransomed for God, saints from every tribe and language and nation. You have made them to be a kingdom and priests serving our God, and they will reign with you on earth. To the one who sits on the throne to the Lamb, be blessing and honour and glory and might for ever and ever. Amen. You created all things, O God, and are worthy of our praise for ever. Our New Testament is a continuation of Paul's first letter to the Corinthians, chapter 11, verses 2 to 16. I commend you because you remember me in everything and maintain the traditions just as I handed them to on to you. But I want you to understand that Christ is the head of every man, and the husband is the head of his wife, and that God is the head of Christ. Any man who prays or pro- uh, prophesies with something on his head disgraces his head, but anyone who prays or prophesies with her head unveils disgraces her head. It is one and the same thing as having her head shaved, for it is a woman who will not veil herself, then she should cut off her hair. But if it is a disgrace for a woman to have her hair cut off or to be shaved, she is the image um, she is the image and reflection of God. But woman is the reflection of man. Indeed, man was not made from woman, but woman from man. Neither was man created for the sake of woman, but woman for the sake of man. For this reason, a woman ought to have a symbol of authority on her head, because of the angels. Nevertheless, in the Lord, women, uh, woman is not independent of man, or man independent of woman. Just as the woman came from the man, so the man comes through woman. But all things come from God. Judge for yourselves. Is it proper for a woman to pray to God with her head unveiled? 
Does not nature teach itself, uh, itself teach that if a man wears long hair, it is degrading to him? But if a woman has long hair, it is her glory. For her hair was given to her for a covering. But if anyone is disposed to be contentious, we have no such custom, nor do the churches of God. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Arise, shine, for your light has come. The glory of the Lord is rising upon you. Arise, shine, for your light has come. The glory of the Lord is rising upon you. God's salvation has been openly shown to all people. The glory of the Lord is rising upon you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Arise, shine, for your light has come. The glory of the Lord is rising upon you. Behold my servant whom I uphold, my chosen in whom my soul delights, the anointed one on whom my spirit rests. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. He has looked with favour on his low servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm and has scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his son Israel to remember his promise of mercy, the promise made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Behold my servant whom I uphold, my chosen whom my soul delights, the anointed one on whom my spirit rests. So let us pray. Holy Father, we give thanks for the day that has been. As we come to the end of the day, we pray that you would be with us, Lord, that you would give us comfort and rest, that we may rise in the morning to give you thanks and praise. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Holy God, we pray for all the victims of the Holocaust. We pray for those who were killed for their ethnicity and religion, for their sexuality, for their ethnic grouping. We pray for all those who were experimented upon all those who were subjugated to such inhumane abuse. Help us, Lord, always to see our common that commonality, that which unites us and does not divide us. Help us be strong in the face of tyranny. Help us, Lord, to do the right thing. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we pray for those being affected by the coronavirus. We pray for those who are sick at this time. For those who require long, uh, who require long-term care. For those who are hospitalised. And those who have died. We pray, Lord, that you would watch over them, watch over all who are caring for others. We pray for the day when this pandemic is but a memory. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Holy God, we pray for all who are seeking you, for all who are estranged from you, for those who are in need of your care. Heavenly Father, watch over all who are not in your grace, those who are feeling abandoned. Help them to know that they are loved by you. Help them to experience that love. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Holy God, we pray for peace in this world, for an end of violence and end of suffering. We pray for all places of conflict and violence. We pray especially for the Ukraine. We pray for the humanitarian crisis in Afghanistan. We pray for all who are displaced, those in refugee camps and those seeking asylum. Help us, Lord, to be kind and generous, to share with what, what we have with those who have nothing. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. 
Merciful Father, we pray for those who are sick in mind, body, and spirit. We pray for those who are known to us. We pray especially by name for Davy, Jilly, Megan, Mary, Tina, Robert, David, Peter, Rose, Sarah, Gwenna, Gillian, Brian, and Paddy. We pray too for those who are known to you alone, Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those who reach the end of their lives and those who recently lost their lives. We pray, Lord, that you would look with compassion on all who grieve and all who mourn. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Almighty God, whose Son revealed in signs and miracles the wonders of your saving presence, renew your people with your heavenly grace and all our weakness sustain us by your mighty power. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit. One Lord, one, one God now and forever. Amen. Leaving the promises of God, let us pray of confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. May Christ, who sends us to the nations, give us the power of his Spirit. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please do join me tomorrow at 9 a.m. and again at 5 p.m. for morning and evening prayer. Until we see each other again, God bless. Stay safe and have a very good evening.